What is going on everyone and welcome to the iKings Day of the Report. Uh, today I cover a major update to the World Selections UI with all new Amazing Planets and Time Mirrors, as well as some uh, awesome comets and an easter egg involving Wheatley from Aperture Science. So let's get on in with the main video. What is the World Selection GUI? Well, the World Selection is an interface that displays a real-time display of the universe and the solar systems that are accessible, as well as the planets that are accessible to you as the Doctor. There are three viewing modes to this GUI, which include the universe, and which is an overall look of all the solar systems in every galaxy. The solar system view, where you can see all the planets and moons contained in a solar system. And a planets view, where you can see all the time eras or dimensions a planet has that you can travel to. Each planet will revolve around their solar system star and moons will revolve around the planets they orbit. So now you're interested in the planets and time mirrors I'm assuming. Uh, well each of the individual solar systems or plan uh, planets and moons are represented by a 2D sprite that directly interacts with the world or solar system you are looking at. Uh, the key to understand Stan understanding the sprites on this GUI are as follows. A solar system equals a unique star sprite, a planet equals unique planet sprite that portrays a planet's appearance, and time eras and dimensions, well, they're not a sprite icon, however, they are represented by a list in a container, uh, a GUI container, when clicking on a planet icon. Initially, when starting a new game, you will have a limited amount of pla planets you can you are able to travel to in the TARDIS. In the Doctor Who client mod story, uh, this is a result of the rare disease that infects the TARDIS's Huon particles and caused the crash, which sent the TARDIS memory matrix crystals throughout space and time. To unlock more content to travel to in the World Selections you are GUI uh, or GUI, you have the option of participating in the side quests that are included on each individual planet and time era in order to recover a TARDIS memory crystal. Once you recover a crystal, you will unlock new content. Planets that are not accessible will be grayed, grayed out and when clicked upon, they will not open the time era selection menu. That being said, there will still be plenty of planets accessible through the World Selection GUI before finding any of these TARDIS memory matrix crystals. Uh, Memory crystals may be tracked down by finding a large mass of stray huon particles on a planet or time era. The list of currently planned time eras, uh, planets and time eras are on their own separate thread or in the spoiler on the IKs SEC forums thread. Uh, yeah, just go to the link in the description. So, aesthetics, a aesthetic features and Easter eggs. The World Selection GUI would not be an accurate depiction of a map of space if it did not have a few visual elements to add that enhance the experience. Uh, for this reason, we have added a few cool features that pop up every now and again, which we believe the player will get a kick out of. Uh, the current list of implemented aesthetic features are as follows. Dark Matter, dark matter Universal Barriers. Uh, this prevents the player from going beyond the barrier of the GUI. We also have comments. Occasionally you will see one or a few comment, uh, comments pass through the World Selection GUI. Uh, Wheatley. This little node from Aperture Science escaped the void when the Daleks were testing the reality bomb and broke down the walls between parallel dimensions. Wheatley, came, it, it Wheatley comes across the World Selection GUI floating through space randomly. Uh, this is the first of many unique easter egg features planned for the World Selection GUI. There are more aesthetic features and easter eggs planned. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's all I have for today. Uh, check out the Daily Report archive at www.dailyreport.ikingsshc.com. Of course, there's the forums at www.ikingsshc.com. And yeah, that's about all I can say for today. And I'll talk to you all in the next video.